Hey folks, Matt from writeoftheimage.com. We've got Dan writing in on the email with a question uh, about the best amateur enthusiast beginner camera for 2018. Actually, um, I guess a bit of a question, maybe almost more of a commentary. He says, hi Matt, I just want to say that your reviews are very helpful, especially for the beginners who are confused what camera to get. I'm an amateur photographer and love to shoot portrait, street, landscape, and some sort of videos. Best DSLR for 2018 for me depends on your budget. You don't need to be tempted to buy the latest camera if you can't afford uh, like full frame. Most of the pro photographers are still using an old model camera and invest more on the glass and gear for their business. As a beginner, you need to start to learn the fir uh, first the DSLR system on how to use them before upgrading your gear into professional photography. Ask yourself first what type of photography you're into before buying. Canon and Nikon are doing a good job in any area of photography and videography despite uh, the pros and cons they have. They are just doing business. Skills and passion for photography will dictate good image quality whatever type of camera you're using. So some really good points there from Dan. Um, and yeah, you basically any DSLR nowadays is capable of, of a good image, uh, and I totally agree with them. Look, develop your skills, develop your knowledge of, of how to shoot um, before you start thinking. You know, most people are probably upgrading before they fully exhausted what their camera's capable of. So some really good points here from Dan. He says he goes on to say the best budget camera for me is the Nikon D5500 or the 5600, the newer model, or the 7100 or the 7200. For Canon, he says, the SL2, T7i, ADD, M50. So it's, uh, I'm kind of chuckling there because you're kind of not really naming one. You're covering a, a, a slew of them. And then the Sony A6300 or A6500. Just there, uh, sharing my thoughts and impressions. I really love your reviews because you're not biased in any brands of DSLR. God bless you and your family, Matt. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Uh, much appreciated, Dan. Some, some thoughtful insight there. Um, obviously taking the time to... Uh, to think out uh, a thoughtful uh, email here. I just want to delve in a little bit here to what Dan was saying about the budget cameras. Um, on the Nikon side, I would agree, and probably the, the best budget camera if you want to shoot video and photography is the 5500. I wouldn't look at the 5600 because it was a minor update, very little difference from the 5500. Uh, and you could get the 5500 for a better price. So that's the, where I would go for the best budget camera. Unless... You're not interested in video and you just want to shoot photography, then the 7100 is going to be your best option. It's uh, cheaper than um, the 7200 and basically the same camera. The only difference with the 7200, it had a deeper shot buffer, could shoot a little faster frame rate. So if you're heavily into sports or wildlife where you need a fast frames per second in frame rate, then you might want to spend the extra money on a 7200. But basically, the 7100 is a better value there, it can be had for less price. Uh, whether new, refurbed, or used, uh, it's a really good deal. On the Canon front, the SL2, as regular viewers will know, I've reviewed that. I really like that camera. Great little camera. It's basically an ADD in a smaller, lighter package. ADD is a little more advanced autofocus system, but most people focus with the center focus point and recompose and shoot. If, you do, if that's the way you shoot, which is the way I shoot and the way most people do, unless you're using the tracking system for sports or birds or whatnot, uh, then the SL2 isn't lacking anything on the ADD, and it's in fact giving you a lighter and smaller body. I would skip the T7i because if I was, I would go with the SL2 as the best value in the Canon DSLR system. And I actually would, I, I love the ADD, but honestly, I would skip the ADD now. My two recommendations for best value in the Canon system right now is the SL2, for the ultimate value and the lowest price, but the M50 gives us everything um, basically at a very good price as well, but we get 4K, first 4K APS-C camera in Canon. So those are my two choices in the Canon system. Sony A6300, A6500, very good. The A6300 is a better value. So it's the previous model, still available. As such, you can get it for a cheaper price, especially if it's refurbed or used. Um, it's a great camera. I do, as many people know, I have issues with the lens offerings. To get into really decent lenses with Sony, you got to pay more for them. So I'd rather see you in Nikon or Canon for that reason. Although the Sony is a very capable camera, um, I'm not as big a fan of their lens lineup. To get into decent lenses. In other words, Nikon and Canon have really good mid-level even entry-level lenses. The kit lens that comes with the Sony in, in that situation there, the A6300, A6500, is not a very good lens. It's, it's okay, but it's not great. You're getting a better lens with the Nikon or the Canon. I'd much rather have a Canon 18 um, to 135 than I would the Sony's 
uh, kit lens, the 16 to 50 or whatever it is, um, just not a great lens. Um, and in that situation, I'd much rather be into the Canon M50 system. So unless you're, you know what you really want, you want an A6300, you're going to shoot a lot of video and you're okay with manual focus and adapters and things, then you can get into a very competent setup. Just not as much a fan of their lens system. Overall, for me right now, I think it has to be the best value out there is the Canon SL2 for DSLR as far as the lowest price best value. And again, Canon M50, if you can step up into that smaller, lighter, mirrorless system with 4K. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Is that the way? What, do you agree with my thinkings on there on what's the best value and in each system? What, what What is the way to go? Do you disagree? Is there another option? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks very much, Dan, for your insight, for your feedback here. Um, give us something to chew on, something to think about. Um, and, you know, best DSLR or mirrorless for 2018, best value for people looking to get into this because this is always people are trying to weigh what's the best. But looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think about this. And uh, thanks again, Dan. Talk to you soon. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.